Hi, my name is Jordan Husney, lead programmer on the ZIG project. The ZIG, or XP Internet Gateway, is a software program that runs on Digi's ConnectPort hardware in order to give your things access to the internet and the internet access to your things. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the ZIG on your ConnectPort, and then we're going to use the ZIG in order to access a few websites. So let's get started. First, you need a ConnectPort gateway. This is a ConnectPort X2 gateway that you can get from a place like SparkFun. I have a ConnectPort X4 gateway that came in my iDigi starter kit from digi.com. Begin by going to the ZIG project site, going to the download section, and downloading the latest ZIG archive. From there, we're going to unpack it and have a look at the files. We're going to upload these files to our ConnectPort gateway. We're going to upload these files by using Digi's iDigi service. To do that, we're going to log in. Now there are two versions of the iDigi service. There's the pay one and the free one for developers. So we're going to choose that one. By clicking the login button, we have the option of creating a new user account. I already have one, so I'm going to log in with my username and password. The iDigi device cloud is a central place where all of our devices can connect in so we can monitor and control them. I'm going to add my connect port device by clicking the plus button and that'll launch a little Java applet that if we give it a little bit of time here will uh, discover all of our devices on the local network. So um, here we go right here. Here's our connect port X4. Okay, so now the device will add to the list and um, if we give it a little time and click the refresh button it'll show up as connected. Now we can bring up the properties for that device and if we want, we can open and see some device statistics. And there they are. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Python section and um, let's, let's upload our files. So we click on the upload button from the toolbar and uh, I'm going to browse over to where the files are. And uh, here's our zig release. So I'm going to select all the files except for the readme uh, one at a time, and this is going to stage up our batch upload to upload to our Connect Port X4 gateway. Okay, so I'm going to click OK, and that upload is going to begin. All right, our files are being transferred now, and in just a few moments, we're done. So now we're going to go into the gateway one last time, go to the Python section, and we'll see our files have been uploaded. So now we're going to add that zig python script to be auto started each time the gateway boots up. So we're going to type in zig.py, save those settings, and uh, we're actually going to help that script start the first time by rebooting the gateway. So we're going to go back to the devices list, right click, go down to administration, and then reboot, and then the zig will start. Meanwhile, while the gateway is rebooting, I'm going to plug in my XB, see that it associates to the gateway, and uh, then I'm going to start my terminal program. Now the real fun is going to begin. So if we type commands into the terminal, they'll be sent to our gateway. If we type help, we'll get a help response from the zig. Now we can use the zig to fetch web pages. So I'm going to type in a very simple web page hosted on my friend Rob Faludi's computer, and uh, there it is. The Zig has returned to us over our XB a very simple web page. The Zig has other commands which are very useful when retrieving web pages. One such command is the abort command. Let's say that we enter in a URL that ends up retrieving a lot of data. Here's one URL that returns, well, a lot of data. If we enter in ABORT and press the enter key, the session will be aborted which will allow us to run other commands. Now that you know how to use the Zig, you can build devices that are aware of the weather, or perhaps you'll command your kitten robot army. Whatever you do, don't forget to share it with us, and have fun!